What's up guys? Uh, I'm recording a video showing my equipment. Uh, I saw in one of the comments somebody was uh, asking about it and I also have a friend who's, uh, who I wanted to show the different types of equipment used. So I'm recording this for that purpose. So I recorded the video on my phone I'm just gonna talk over it and uh, I'll try to show links or the pages to the products. So this is our current setup now. It's a Sony A7R4 with the uh, converter, a Sigma converter, and then a Canon 8 to 15 mm lens and an Odal Ninja rotator. And this one is a Yung new flash trigger. Um, I use it to to turn um, as a shutter, a remote shutter for the camera. So that is the uh, transmitter and the other one is the receiver and I just set it to TRX when I, whenever I shoot uh, I'll, I'll show it later in the video and I had this um, quick release thing I bought in I don't know where and I clip it to my uh, pants whenever I shoot so that uh, I, cause I usually forget where I put it in my pocket uh, yeah so I'll just pause it and show the links. So for yeah, for the body, it's a seven A seven R four. Not sure how it costs now, how much it costs now, but the one thing that people didn't say is uh, the raw files are so big and you'll need a faster PC. So maybe not the best. Um, set up um, but uh, we bought it so we're using it uh, but prior to that we used the save a Sony a7 II and it did the job well so no need this is overkill for me you will survive with Sony a7 and then for the rotator this one rotator d10 advanced rotator d10 but uh, the reason why I bought it separately was uh, I think I this this was already in my hand that time. Uh so I ha I bought the uh, the I uh, know the tilt ring separately this one, but you can buy it as a like as a whole. Uh, let me look for that link. Hmm. So this one I think it's this one. If you're gonna buy it as a whole. So for me, I bought it separately, the top part and the bottom part. This is the lens ring for Canon. Uh, there's a lens ring for other fisheye lenses as well. Um, this is the lens, uh, 8 to 15, and uh, we shoot at 12 mm. And this is the young new uh, flash trigger that I use as a shutter trigger. I uh, wanting to note here is uh you can buy either one for um canon or nikon the only difference is the cable so you need to find a cable that fits the other part will fit the the, the trigger and the other one fits the body so for sony i don't know where i got the cable from but i had one and the the trigger I had was in uh, originally for Canon because we used to have a Canon camera, and it it still worked. And for the converter, this is the one. It's a Sigma MC11. So I'll continue with the video. So here I'm showing, yeah, the dirty lens, and how like everything is taped, like. I ta tape it to 12 mm. Even the fo focus settings, it's fixed. Um, we never change it. Uh, so this is the rotator with the tilt head. We shoot at uh, 12 mm for around, so every 90 degrees. So to adjust it, you just turn that knob and try to find the hole that that fits the degrees that you want to shoot in so for for example this one i change it to 60 degrees so you can shoot six around but now we shoot four around why is that uh 
some point we found that six around is too much work and we came to the point where we just shot too many panoramas and I guess uh, it became more of a business than art now and we had to think about our numbers and four around make made more sense um, so for this one we tilt it uh, I think seven seven five seven point five degrees up so that you cover the zenith the hole and the ceiling and we're fine with the hole in the bottom the nadir or nadir I'm not sure how it's pronounced and we just clean it up in post so at 7.5 it doesn't leave any hole and uh, it leaves a small hole in the tripod so this is the uh, I'm showing the rotator separately because I have another so if you buy it separately you get that uh, rotator detail and then this is the tilt head separately so I have a because I wanted to create two setups because I have uh, an extra Sony A7 II so I bought another set and uh, yeah the Canon LED ring so that it's fixed in the position um, so I, I had another one in hand uh, I was just showing how it looks like when not in your lens so I had another <laughs> Canon A to 15 which I use for car interiors so that is where the um, focus is fixed because uh, for interiors I find that uh, I need to adjust it um, because my settings for real estate uh, in hotels or for exteriors are a bit blurred when it comes to interior so here I'm just showing how to put that uh, thing not sure what it's called but this is the first thing you put um, before you put the main ring so it sorts of uh, locks into that uh, I believe it has a dual adhesive tape that uh, I think I removed now because I I've used it I think that you don't need it anymore so you need just need to um, using that thing until you can put it in that part and then it clips and then just to tighten it up again uh, let's see uh, here I'm just showing how you can like put it in a tripod I just use the suction cup for now because it's in my table and we usually have those um, one proto ball heads and then uh, a quick release plate um, that one so not sure what it's the model I'll try to search for it later and put it in the box. so that snaps into place and then as you can see this is uh, mm, for around 90 degrees so this is me putting the camera place uh, you have to press that button and loosen this uh, other part uh, I thought it was uh, not loose but it was so press it in and then lock it and then so this is sort of like the operation um, I'm gonna have to put the shutter trigger trigger first um, yeah but that's how it turns thing so that's the receiver and then I have to connect it to my camera with the cable that I mentioned a while so this one protects the cable from like folding um, a7 r4 has that a7 2 doesn't so if you open that part you'll, you'll see a like a screw opening goes right there and you can tighten it so this cable that I was mentioning a while ago I don't know where I got it from but I'm pretty sure you can buy it so the other end goes to the Canon and the other one can go to the um, shutter trigger transmitter or receiver okay, the receiver yeah. I 
I bought another brand for this and uh, I don't know where it is now but uh, at some point it stopped working so this young is very re reliable I've been using it for years so just showing how, how we typically shoot um, we lock in at f14 because um, for the aperture because we found that at f8 objects near are blurred but at f14 objects near and far are are both uh, so here i thought i had no memory card but turns out i had but it was in a different slot so i have uh, a bunch of those 64 gig uh, sd cards i think i have four of them We shoot bracketed three, ar uh, three around in most cases, plus two, minus two. Um, there are cases where we do more um, if it's uh, the lighting is really um, unbalanced. So three around again. Then when you're done, move the camera three around again. Uh, so that's my cut in the background three around and three are i mean three shots and I need was that the last i think so uh, i think this is the last oh yeah because we started there uh let me see so this one showing the other nodal heads i had before this one was the first one, uh, Nodal Ninja 3. Um, it's probably 15 years ago. 15 years ago. Why did I switch? At some point, I started with a Canon P50D, which fit that, and upgraded to a Canon 450D. I think it still fit that, and then when I switched to 600D, it, I can no longer do a, um, an upshot because the body of the camera hit that uh, top there. So I had to upgrade to the Nodal Ninja 6, the one on the left there. So the way Nodal Ninja y works is you have this, um, like th that thing there has a plate inside that has some like, what do you call that, like uh, a hole adjust it so that it goes to the right like degrees like for this it's six around and then when you see the other side it's uh, i think eight around every 45 yeah, 45 degrees this one is it's six around and then yeah that hole there like the ball there locks the thing into place so it snaps every 60 degrees or whatever the settings are there So yeah, this is every sixty, every six, every sixty degrees. Um, before I had the Canon four fifty, I'd shoot six round. Uh, I had the six Sigma, eight mm, and then I think it tilted up a bit to cover the um, the zenith. So th this is a really straight that comes with it. Now I don't use that anymore because uh, I prefer to use the one proto ones. pretty old but, uh, many memories with it this one as as a uh, nodal ninja 6 um, it's uh, it's really an upgrade everything is uh, uh, the make is better um, really quality build um, why did I upgrade yeah as I mentioned uh, at uh, when I can when I use the Canon 600D it will no longer fit the nodal ninja 3 so this one I'm just showing the rotator how it fits because uh, yeah I, I I wasn't ready for that setup um, I, I just put this into storage but yeah the rotator D10 works with that and there's a screw there that uh, fits that part. So yeah that's it the Noodle Ninja 
sticks. Um, like I said, we used to shoot six around. And then it doesn't make sense now to use that anymore. It's much heavier. So we, we switch to tilt head. So this one, yeah, I'm sewing the, the rotator into tilt head, which I discussed a while ago. So you can buy it separately. That's how it um, I also have one of these, the mecha. It's like the, like the robot. Uh, I thought I'd use it for cars, but uh, it's hard to use. And we realized we needed the. Um, uh, I'll pause it for now. And we needed the other one, which had the tilt. Uh, let's look for it here. Like uh, Mecha. Mecha. Uh. Mm. Rotator. Mecha. Ah, uh, sorry, wrong spelling. So which one did I buy? No, not that one. Mecha parts. Mecha, mecha. So this is the one that I have. And it does four around, so it's fine. But for interiors, we really don't need it. For exteriors, you don't need it because there's a lot of people walking around and we can't do an automated shoot. But for cars, what we really needed was this one, but I this one is the, the one that I bought, so I think we need to upgrade to this one. So that when you put it inside the car, we just leave it. Because what happens now is we go inside and out, we open the doors, it messes up everything. So anyway, um, this is my old camera, the Sony A7 II. And I'm just showing the converter, which was, uh, I forgot the brand e Emolite but we changed to Sigma um, because I had issues with that like sometimes the aperture was zero and the data was not being transferred to the camera so this is the one that we use now that doesn't have any issues so this one is the older one I bought it from a friend uh, like I said A7 II is enough for me A7 R4 is uh, overkill A I'm showing the mount. This is the mount that we use now, MC11. And as you can see, we tape everything. The, the lens, the focus um, doesn't change. It's fixed at 12mm. <coughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just showing how to remove the lens. does it for cameras uh, I'll show my ah, some some accessories <laughs> so whenever we shoot we always use the blower because a lot of dust accumulates on the lens and we are uh, for some reason always lose this uh, blower so I bought this thing from I don't know like equivalent of Amazon here in the Philippines and uh, it attracts and you can clip it to your um, shorts or pants. So these are our tripods. I have uh, I've had several over the years. This is the most current one. It's quite heavy. Um, I find that this one is the clip. I don't know what to call it. It's like the one that clip is much better than the one that you have to screw. Um, I've had trouble with the one with screw the screw that eventually uh, doesn't like loosens or it doesn't work anymore uh, this one is the lighter version like for travel um, and this is the one that I had before like I said I had issues like doesn't work well now and one of the legs would just fall off uh, it's a Siri U forgot the model but it's lighter than the Manfrotto um, just that I, ca I cannot find spare parts here um, I have to order it from the states and I don't think I need to do that anymore since I already have the Manfro the small Manfro I also have um, yeah the, a monopod not much use for it now 
but uh, so yeah one thing i didn't know then was that like that this part here you can press it to use the smaller screw so i thought i had to remove it so i put a vice grip there and it destroyed the teeth so now i have to put in uh, the converter whenever whenever i needed the need the bigger screw head so that was one of uh, like a stupid moment in my life i didn't read the manual so this is one it's just for the the foot so that it would stand i think you can use this for like theta z ones it's a 360 but not for dslr for heavy cameras that this is how it looks and it will stand on its own we've used it for camera uh, i mean for car interiors as well in the past but now we have a different setup for that i will show it in another video um so this is uh you've seen this this is our suction mount use it for yeah car interiors um i'm showing how it sticks to to glass materials it's pretty stable i got it from freedom 360 us and i bought another one this one i'm not sure i think it's called cabio basically you use it for car interiors if you want to mount because that suction mount i showed you a while ago it's too short we mount it on the sunroof when the car has a sunroof but sometimes when a car doesn't well most cases cars don't have sunroof so for those shoots we try to mount from uh, the driver side or the passenger side uh, like uh, windows so this is the one we use for that so it's pretty strong pretty stable i believe they use it for like rigging like cameras on roofs of cars for video shoots so it wasn't i don't think it was intended for the purpose of being used for the windows and for car interiors so it works like that so cover the camera same one um and the other one freedom 360 i think they have a new version now i'm not sure yeah i don't think they still have the one that i have uh, let's go back here yeah I, I think this is the last i don't have anything else to show well i have a new rig for car interiors but uh, it's a uh, I'll do a separate video for that. Uh, that's it. Uh, I'll put the links in the description. The, these are not affiliate links because I don't have a Amazon affiliate account. They rejected mine. So thanks for watching. Bye bye, guys.